The HARP Project Chapter 1 Whispers in the Sky Alaska, with its breathtaking landscapes and enigmatic beauty, held secrets that extended beyond the mesmerizing dance of the northern lights. Dr. Emily Turner, a seasoned meteorologist, found herself drawn to the heart of the mysterious Project HARP. Nestled in the vast wilderness, the facility's towering antennas reached towards the heavens, probing the atmosphere in a quest for scientific understanding. Emily had always been fascinated by the intricacies of weather patterns, but her curiosity led her down an unexpected path. As she delved into the archives of Project HARP, the initial awe at its scientific pursuits gave way to a growing sense of unease. The documents she uncovered hinted at a hidden agenda, one that surpassed the boundaries of atmospheric research. The coded messages, intercepted by Emily in the dead of night, revealed an intricate web of intrigue. Whispers in the wind seemed to carry secrets, and cryptic documents spoke of weather manipulation capabilities that bordered on the supernatural. A sense of foreboding gripped Emily as she realized that Project HARP was more than a scientific endeavor. It was a portal into a world where the very elements of nature were harnessed for unknown purposes. The journey into the unknown began with Emily's arrival in the quiet town of Gakona, near the Harp facility. The locals spoke in hushed tones about strange occurrences, unexplained storms, disruptions in communication, and eerie lights in the night sky. Emily sensed that the atmosphere held more than meteorological anomalies, it held the echoes of a clandestine narrative. The first encounter with Harp's researchers seemed innocuous enough. Emily engaged in discussions about atmospheric phenomena, ionospheric studies, and the potential applications of the research. Yet, beneath the surface, a palpable tension lingered. The coded messages, received on her encrypted device, urged her to look beyond the facade, to question the intentions that lurked in the shadows of scientific inquiry. As Emily ventured into the heart of the facility, surrounded by humming machinery and the crackling energy in the air, she couldn't shake the feeling that she had crossed a threshold into the unknown. The coded messages guided her steps, leading her to archive files that hinted at experiments with the atmosphere, a realm where science blurred with the arcane. Late one night, while poring over classified documents, Emily deciphered a message that sent shivers down her spine. It spoke of a correlation between Harp's activities and inexplicable weather events across the globe. Unseasonal storms, extreme temperature fluctuations, and atmospheric anomalies, patterns that seemed orchestrated rather than natural. Haunted by the revelations, Emily's nights became a tapestry of uncertainty. The coded messages, seemingly emanating from the very air she breathed, hinted at a truth that transcended the boundaries of conventional science. The whispers in the wind grew louder, urging her to uncover the hidden agenda that lurked within the corridors of Project Harp. The town of Gakona, once a backdrop to Emily's scientific pursuits, now felt like a theater of enigma. The skies above, once a canvas for meteorological wonders, became a realm where secrets mingled with the clouds. As the first chapter of Emily's journey unfolded, she stood on the precipice of a revelation that would challenge not only her understanding of weather patterns, but the very fabric of reality itself. The whispers in the sky beckoned her to unravel the mysteries that lay beyond the veil of scientific inquiry. Chapter 2 Stormy Confrontations 
Emily's exploration into the Enigma of Project HARP took an unexpected turn as she ventured into the heart of the Bermuda Triangle. The coded messages from the mysterious informant had guided her to this notorious region, a place steeped in maritime legends and shrouded in the mysteries of disappearing ships and planes. As her plane descended through turbulent clouds into the heart of the Bermuda Triangle, Emily's senses heightened. The atmosphere seemed charged with an otherworldly energy. The coded messages had hinted at a connection between Project HARP and the bizarre atmospheric anomalies that had long haunted the region. Her arrival in Bermuda was met with skepticism from local authorities. They regarded her inquiries into the Bermuda Triangle's mysteries with a mix of caution and curiosity. Emily delved into discussions with seasoned sailors, historians, and residents who shared tales of sudden storms and unexplained phenomena that defied conventional meteorological understanding. The coded messages guided her through the labyrinth of information, revealing patterns in the chaotic tales of the Bermuda Triangle. Anomalies and weather patterns, strange electromagnetic disturbances, and whispers of hidden government experiments painted a picture of a region where the boundaries between the natural and the supernatural blurred. As Emily set sail into the unpredictable waters of the Bermuda Triangle, the coded messages became her compass. Unfamiliar storms, unlike any she had encountered in her meteorological career, challenged her understanding of atmospheric dynamics. The informant's messages urged her to navigate carefully, as if the very elements conspired to test her resolve. One stormy night, as the ship sailed through choppy waters, Emily witnessed a spectacle that defied all meteorological logic. A swirling vortex of clouds formed overhead, illuminated by eerie lights that seemed to dance with an otherworldly energy. The coded messages spoke of a convergence point, a nexus where the experimentation of Project HARP intertwined with the enigmatic forces of the Bermuda Triangle. The encounter with the supernatural storm heightened the tension among the crew. Whispers of ancient curses and paranormal phenomena filled the air. Emily, however, remained steadfast, driven by a determination to uncover the truth behind the convergence of science and the unexplained. As her journey through the Bermuda Triangle continued, Emily found herself entangled with an obscure government organization. The coded messages hinted at a shadowy presence that sought to protect the secrets hidden within the stormy embrace of the region. Confrontations with government agents, veiled threats, and attempts to confiscate her research materials marked the escalating stakes of her quest. The informant's messages became a lifeline, guiding Emily through the stormy confrontations that unfolded both in the natural world and the shadowy realms of government intrigue. The Bermuda Triangle, once a symbol of mystery, now became a battleground where the forces of science and secrecy clashed. In the climactic moments, Emily's ship sailed into the heart of a tempest unlike any other. The coded messages signaled a convergence of forces, an intersection where the secrets of Project HARP met the ancient mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle. The storm raged with intensity, mirroring the turmoil within Emily's pursuit of truth. As the second chapter of her journey reached its zenith, Emily found herself at the epicenter of a revelation that transcended the boundaries of science and delved into the supernatural. The coded messages, like whispers carried by the wind, hinted at a nexus where the stormy confrontations of Project HARP and the mysteries of the Bermuda Triangle converged. The turbulent waters beneath her became a metaphor for the uncharted territories of her quest, where the tempestuous dance between science and the unknown unfolded in a crescendo of uncertainty. 
Chapter 3 Unveiling the Tempest Emily's journey, now intricately woven with the threads of mystery and intrigue, led her to the heart of Washington, D.C. The corridors of power concealed the secrets of Project HARP, and the coded messages had hinted at a complex web of government agencies vying for control over weather manipulating technology. The stakes had escalated, and Emily found herself navigating the tempestuous waters of political influence and hidden agendas. Arriving in the nation's capital, Emily felt the weight of history bearing down on her. The coded messages, received in the shadows of Alaska and the turbulent seas of the Bermuda Triangle, guided her through the maze of government institutions. The informant's warnings echoed in her mind as she delved into a realm where the boundaries between meteorological research and geopolitical power blurred. Covert meetings with government insiders, clandestine rendezvous in dimly lit alleys, and encrypted communications became the norm for Emily. The coded messages became her guide through the murky waters of political maneuvering, revealing a landscape where alliances shifted like the winds she studied. The informant's messages hinted at a power play that extended beyond atmospheric research into the realm of geopolitical dominance. Emily uncovered a tapestry of covert collaborations, backdoor dealings, and secret alliances that spanned continents. The storm she navigated was not just atmospheric, it was a tempest of political intrigue that threatened to engulf her in its undertow. As she delved deeper into the heart of the nation's capital, Emily encountered a cast of characters shrouded in shadows. High-ranking government officials, influential scientists, and enigmatic figures whose motives remained elusive populated the landscape of her investigation. The coded messages warned her of hidden agendas and urged her to proceed with caution. In one particularly tense encounter, Emily found herself face to face with a high-ranking official who seemed to hold the key to the government's involvement in Project HARP. The coded messages had guided her to this pivotal moment where revelations hung in the balance. The informant's warnings resonated as she confronted the official, demanding answers that could unravel the tightly woven fabric of secrecy. The coded messages had hinted at a nexus where weather manipulation and geopolitical power converged. Emily's investigation unveiled a complex tapestry of motives, control over global climate patterns, strategic advantage in international negotiations, and the potential weaponization of atmospheric phenomena. The storm she navigated was not only scientific but geopolitical, and the coded messages provided her with a compass to navigate the treacherous currents. As Emily uncovered the layers of deception within the political landscape, she faced threats from all sides. The coded messages, once a source of guidance, became a lifeline in the storm of deception that surrounded Project HARP. Whispers of conspiracies, clandestine alliances, and the potential weaponization of weather added to the symphony of intrigue that defined her quest. In the climactic moments of this chapter, Emily stood on the precipice of a revelation that could reshape the understanding of Project HARP. The coded messages hinted at a convergence point, an intersection where the scientific pursuit of atmospheric knowledge collided with the pursuit of global dominance. The tempest she had navigated through Alaska, the Bermuda Triangle, and the political corridors of Washington, D.C., was reaching its zenith. As the coded messages echoed in her mind, Emily prepared to unveil the tempest that lay at the heart of Project Harp's secrets. Chapter 4 Eye of the Hurricane 
The journey that had begun in the remote reaches of Alaska and continued through the enigmatic waters of the Bermuda Triangle and the political intrigue of Washington, D.C. was now hurtling towards its climax. Emily stood at the epicenter of a storm that transcended the boundaries of science, geopolitics, and the supernatural. The coded messages, once fragments of cryptic guidance, now pointed Emily towards a final confrontation, a reckoning that would unravel the tightly guarded secrets of Project HARP. The informant's whispers in the wind urged her forward, even as the tempestuous forces surrounding her threatened to consume all in their path. As Emily retraced her steps back to Alaska, the storm seemed to follow her. The coded messages foretold of an impending atmospheric anomaly, a convergence of manipulated weather patterns that would act as a smokescreen for the final revelation. The skies above Kakona, where it all began, were charged with an electric tension mirroring the intensity within Emily's determined heart. Arriving at the Harp facility once more, Emily found herself facing a labyrinth of closed doors and guarded entrances. The coded messages, received with increasing urgency, guided her through the shadows that clung to the corridors of power within the research facility. The storm outside echoed the turmoil within her, as if the very elements conspired to mirror the chaos that lay beneath the surface. The final chapter of Emily's journey unfolded in the depths of the Harp facility. The coded messages led her to a control room, where screens flickered with data that hinted at the manipulation of atmospheric conditions worldwide. As she deciphered the information, a revelation struck her, the true extent of Project Harp's capabilities went beyond with her manipulation. The storm that raged outside seemed to respond to the unraveling secrets within the facility. The coded messages guided Emily to a chamber where a powerful machine, hidden from public view, hummed with an energy that transcended scientific understanding. It was here, in the eye of the hurricane, that the final pieces of the puzzle fell into place. As Emily confronted the architects of Project HARP, she discovered that the true aim of the project was not just control over weather patterns, but the manipulation of global consciousness. The machine, powered by the manipulation of the ionosphere, held the potential to influence minds on mass scale. The storm, both metaphorical and literal, represented the tempest of thoughts and intentions swirling within the clandestine corridors of power. The coded messages, which had guided her through the stormy seas of uncertainty, now revealed a plan to use the atmospheric anomalies as a cover for a worldwide experiment in mass influence. The storm outside, manipulated by the very machine before her, acted as a distraction from the true agenda that lay hidden within the depths of Project HARP. The storm, both metaphorical and literal, represented the tempest of thoughts and intentions swirling within the clandestine corridors of power. In a climactic confrontation, Emily faced the architects of the project, scientists who believed they could reshape the world through manipulation of both nature and human perception. The coded messages became her voice, echoing the warnings of the informant who had sought to expose the dangers of such unchecked power. As Emily stood in the eye of the hurricane, a decision weighed on her shoulders. The storm outside intensified, mirroring the internal conflict within her. The coded messages urged her to dismantle the machine to prevent the global experiment from reaching fruition. The fate of the world hung in the balance, and Emily's choice would determine whether the storm would subside or escalate into a cataclysm of manipulation. In the final moments, Emily took decisive action. The storm, both atmospheric and metaphoric, reached its zenith. As the machine's hum faded, 
the coded messages fell silent. The skies above Kakama cleared, and the storm that had veiled Project Heart secrets dissipated. The coded messages, once mysterious whispers in the wind, had guided Emily through a journey that spanned continents and delved into the depths of scientific and geopolitical intrigue. As the eye of the hurricane passed, Emily emerged from the tempest, forever changed by the revelations she had uncovered. The storm had subsided, but the echoes of Project Heart secrets lingered in the air, a reminder that even in the calm aftermath, the forces of manipulation and secrecy continued to cast shadows over the world. Please watch the other videos from our playlists. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with new captivating mysteries.